continuing with numericals on three phase panel spot currents we have got a, a third numerical it can be solved using the application of thevenin's theorem the problem statement is that a synchronous generator and a motor both having 30000 kva or 30 mva 13.2 kV both having sub tangent reactance of 20% and these two machines are connected through a line having a reactance of 10% on the the same base machine ratings and the motor is drawing the synchronous motor is drawing load of 20000 kW at 0.8 power factor leading and at the terminal voltage of 12.8 kV when a symmetrical three phase fault occurs on the motor terminals that is the fault is occurring at the motor terminals find the sub tangent current in the generator motor and the fault using the thevenin's theorem that is what is a the sub tangent current contributed from the generator motor and the total fault current you have to find out for the given numerical this is a single line diagram here both having a 30 ma 13.2 kilo volts 20% are reactants and the line has got 10% of reactants on machine ratings and the base quantity i'm taking 30 mva 13.2 kv the generator circuit or any part of the circuit because the base mva and kv for this particular numerical is remain same because as such there is in between there is no transformer the based on the base quantities of mv and kv i am calculating the base current iv so that i can convert power unit current into the the actual current in terms of amperes by multiplying the base current therefore i am calculating the base current at this instant of time therefore iv is equal to what i am getting is 1312 amperes at the same time we know that the rating of the machines as well as the base quantities are the same therefore the new power unit reactance of the generator line and the motor remains the same the same thing is that is one more parameter i am calculating here that is the load current so load is 20000 kw at 0.8 power factor and 12.8 okay and it is a leading in the nature it is a leading in the nature therefore the load current il is the total power output divided by root 3 line voltage multiplied by the power factor that is 1128 an angle of 36.9 because it is 0.8 therefore cos inverse of 0.8 is 36.9 then i am taking here cos 2 because it is a leading power factor then i am interested in this uh, load current in terms of power unit therefore you have to divide the base current that is 1312 so that what i am getting is 0.86 an angle of 36.9 power unit is the the load current then as far as the new values of the reactance is concerned for the generator motor and the line they are remains the same because the old values as well as the new values are remains the same therefore the synchronous generator and motor both sub tangent reactance is 0.20 and the line reactance is remains at 0.10 using this data just i am drawing here then there is a fault is occurring the fault is occurring at the motor terminals the fault is occurring at motor terminals that is here the motor terminals at the instant of uh, fault the terminal voltage that is the the current drawing a load current using at the terminal voltage of 12.8 kV therefore this is a pre fault voltage this is a pre fault voltage for the the system then the pre fault voltage can be calculated as it is 12.8 that is the pre fault voltage before the fault occurs it is delivering the the load current at a voltage of 12.8 therefore it is pre fault voltage therefore you can express this voltage in terms of power unit by multi, uh, dividing 13.2 that is a base voltage and it is taken as a reference therefore i am putting it as an angle of 0 degree that is 0.96 96 an angle of 0 degrees the the pre fault voltage uh, at the terminals of the the motor then i am drawing here the pre fault uh, that is reactance diagram that is generator having 
line having 0 0.10 reactants and the motor is 0 0.20 and at this particular point there is a fault is occurring at the terminals of the motor there is a fault is occurring therefore our objective is to find out the thevenin's equivalent seen from these two points thevenin's equivalent uh, circuit seen from these two points therefore one is the open circuit voltage open circuit voltage means it's a pre fault voltage vf only and you have to find out what is the thevenin's equivalent impedance seen from these two point in that case the point 0.10 and point 0.20 they are in series in parallel with point 0.2 that is i am drawing the the next diagram here you can see here there is a point 0.30 that is these two are coming in series and this is a point 0.20 at this particular point there is a fault is occurring then if you are seeing the impedance from these two points point 0.30 and point 0.2 they are coming in parallel because the voltage sources are short circuited when if you are calculating the thevenin's equivalent seen from the the fault point therefore I am getting the thevenin's equivalent voltage ETH is nothing but a pre fault voltage of VF that is 12.8 divided by 13.2. Therefore, what I am getting here is 0.9696, an angle of 0 degree because we are taking this as a reference. And the impedance seen from these two points as it is a point J30 and point J20, they are in parallel. Therefore, the thevenin's equivalent impedance or reactance, what I am getting here is j.12 now i am interested in the simplified version of the diagram for calculating the fault current that is this is thevenin's equivalent source and the reactance and ultimately this is a my fault current therefore the fault current can be calculated as it is thevenin's equivalent voltage divided by thevenin's equivalent impedance or reactance that is 0 0.9696 angle of 0 divided by j.12 therefore the fault current what i am getting is minus j8.08 per unit is the, the fault current now we have to go back to the the original diagram therein before that the total actual fault current i am calculating here by multiplying the base current of 1312 so that i am getting 10600 amperes is the the total fault current now um, i am trying to redraw the 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 fault condition uh, diagram of the the network given here you can see this is a total at this particular point there is a fault is occurring there is a fault current there is a fault current is contributed from both generator and motor both generator and motor there is a fault current is contributed apart from load current apart from load current First, I am interested in IFG and IFM. What are these IFG and IFM? Then, we know the total current. This is a parallel branch. Then, you can apply a parallel branch method of calculating the current in each branch. So, that I am getting IFG and IFM. Those are the fault current contribution from the generator and the motor. Okay. That I am calculating here. That is IFG and IFM. I am calculating here. The total fault current is 8.808 and the load current I know 0.86, 36.9. Then IFG. You look into this particular diagram, you forget about the load current. Only if you are taking the fault current, the fault current comprises of these two components IFG and IFM. If you are adding IFG and IFM, I have to get the fault current. But in the actual system, Apart from the fault current, before the fault occurs, there is a load current, IM. Therefore, what you have to do is, to get the total subtransient current of the, the generator, you have to superimpose IL and IFG. That is, you have to add IL and IFG, so that what I am getting is, total subtransient current contributed from the, the generator. Similarly, for the motor, to get the subtransient current, as it is IFM minus IL because IL is flowing in the opposite direction to IFM. The IFG and IFM is the contribution for the fault current. IC double dash and IM double dash are the subtransient current. It is including the load current. That is the difference between IFG and IC double dash and IFM and 
I M double dash. Now I am calculating I F G as 8.0 that is the total fault current multiplied by the reactance in the other circuit that is J.2 divided by the total reactance that is 0.J2 plus J.3 that is J.5 so that what I am getting is 3.232 per unit. Then similarly I am calculating IFM to calculate IFM then it is a total fault current IF multiplied by reactance in the other circuit that is J.30 divided by J.50 therefore what I am getting is it is minus J 4.848 per unit it is the, the contribution from the, the motor then if you are superimposing IL and IFM or you are adding IFM and IL then what I am getting is it is a total subtransient current contributed from the, the generator and IM double dash is it is IFM minus IL so that what I am getting here is it is minus 0.69 minus J5.37 therefore the total fault current is once again it is IJ double dash plus IM double dash if you are adding these two once again you are getting it is J8.08 with a minus sign then if you are calculating the fault current once again the fault current is remains same that is 10600 amperes this is how you have to calculate the, the fault current using the Thevenin's equivalent circuit.